Hi everybody, it's Benny here. I'm uh, just uh, doing a first video of the city, first trip up. Uh, this is the habitat of the uh, farm. Sort of mix, sort of scrub, and all sorts of different things. Wayfaring tree, lots of oaks, a lot of ash, and there's a plethora of wildflowers down here as well. Lots of buttercup. In fact, there's a lot of uh, Plipteryx uh, simpliciella, should I say flying around, you probably won't be able to see them, but they're minute. So let's take you over to the trap, which is over here. It's all set up for tonight. This is the, uh, the trap I use at home actually, the garden trap, 125 watt MV. And they've got the egg trays on the outside as usual to uh, hopefully moths will settle on both sides if we're lucky. And yeah, it's, uh, it's overlooking the, the farm, the south end, of, uh, the north end of the farm. Get my uh, north and south mixed up there. And yeah, I'm just going to be a panorama. Just, uh, that's where I usually put the trap over there. Uh, but it seems a bit, a bit nearer, a bit vegetation down here. So it's uh, very still tonight. It's, uh, wind's just dropping down now, about 19, 20 degrees. And uh, hopefully it should be a good evening. It's the uh, 26th of May, I believe. Quote me if I'm wrong. Uh, and yeah, that's the first trap all done. And I've got my net there, just gonna have a little wander around, see what I can see. I've already got a couple of species, I've already seen Cinnabar, uh, Momfa, Epilobella. Yeah, so I'll show you the other traps in a second. Right, we are now up the other end, the uh, south side of the farm. It's another five acres of land. As you can see, it's well overgrown now. This farm was shut in 2006, so this is what nature has done in 10 years. As you can see, it's mainly nettles here, and cow parsley, lots and lots of ash. There's stacks of ash. Just a lot of uh, wildflowers growing everywhere. The path has gone. Used to have uh, 40 ton lorries come up down here, would you believe? And uh, here's the first trap I've set up. This is the Mercury blended bulb, 160 watt. And uh, I always put a rain guard on it because I've had so many bulbs break over the years. Uh, it's very, it's very, very hot. And even if you get just a couple of drops off the trees, it gets prone to cracking. So that's a different bulb. That was actually my first bulb I started moth trapping with in 2006. So that's uh, one of the old style Robinsons from uh, ALS, I believe. Uh, the cone just shattered, and I did, couldn't justify spending £35 on another one for it to shatter again. So I just found a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, material to put on top. And it sort of reflects the light nicely as well. Got the egg trays around the side as well. And uh, yeah, it's looking really perfect tonight. I've already recorded 10 species of moth now. So I've already done better than my garden all week. And I've just this moment noticed, where was it? The little uh, psych, psychic caster, whatever you call it. Here it is, here. Yeah, just there, I don't know if it's gonna focus. It might do. No, it's not gonna focus too much background. There we go, sort of. So he's just there attached to a piece of grass. That's the case. There we go, perfect. There's a little caterpillar in there. I've never seen the moth. Um, seems to be very elusive, maybe it doesn't come to light. And we've got lots of uh, just hedge mustard or garlic mustard, I always get it mixed up. I think it's hedge mustard. So yeah, so this is the site. I'll give you a little walk around here. I'm not sure where to put the other traps yet. I've got lots of options. I'll go down this track here. Got all the equipment here. Um, it's a bit breezy here, so I may may run a trap down there. Looks beautiful down there, really, really overgrown. And I've got the option of coming over here. I've got 100 and, 150 metres of cable, so oh, you can see the state of the farm from here. Look, there's nothing left of these buildings, but wind has uh, taken hold. We had quite a few storms in the last 10 years. So it's quite nice there actually. A little bit out of the breeze. And this faint breeze this side. I think mainly because it's a southwesterly wind today. So 
yeah, let's, let's have a little look up here. I won't bore you too much longer. I'll get the other trap set up then. It's also very nice up this end as well. You can see the old Nissan huts where the chickens used to be in many, many years ago. And then they built these new ones. And well, you can see the Nissan huts are still up and these are falling down. Typical aluminium for you. And yeah, there's a nice little spot there and I've got the option to run cable through there. You can see how far those trees, the ash trees are over there. And it's this bit here is about four acres big. So I've got a lot of options. Right, I'll go and set up the other two traps. Right, so we're on to our third trap now. And I've decided to put it in this little corner here. As you can see, it's there. Sort of pan round. That's the, the edge of the farm there. And that's where we've came from. Come from, should I say. And, uh, yeah, it's about 65, 70 metres away from where we a plane going over. Quite near standstill here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's quite open here. There's a little faint breeze. So I thought if I tuck it in this corner down here, we might attract some stuff over on the vegetation. Lots of uh, bramble here, some dog rose. Yeah, there's plenty of moths flying about already. I mean, what's the time now? Let's have a quick look. Still very, very, yeah, it's only 20 past six. So I thought we'd get the trap set up ready. This one here is the uh, suitcase trap uh, made by ALS. It's, uh, I'm running twin 40 watt actinics on it. So 80 watt total. And a incandescent light bulb. I think it's an LED one actually. Just to give a little bit of uh, natural daylight to it, it's much easier seeing the moths in natural daylight than it is under a UV light. And we've got some egg trays inside, not many, but enough just to uh, sort of, you know, hopefully I'll settle on them. And then we've got four on the outside. And that this trap doesn't have a rain cover, but it shouldn't, I think it's going to rain tonight. The sky's clearing a bit now, and the bulbs run quite cold, so they wouldn't actually smash unless it was a huge downpour. Yeah, uh, hoping to get something decent tonight. Uh, end of May, so it would be a little bit early for a lot of things, but it's been such a slow year that things have all of a sudden sort of catch, caught up. So they've been trying to catch up over the last few weeks. I'm now going to leave that trap and just take a quick walk down here. As you can see, it's really heavily vegetated down here. And these trees probably were very, very small 10 years ago. These are ash trees. Another aeroplane going over. They're uh, circling round at the moment. They're around on their final approach. I think that's probably landing. Yep, yeah, looks like it. Right, so let's just go down here. I'll be very careful walking around here. There's lots of broken bits of glass and nails and all sorts. I haven't really got the great footwear on at the moment. As you can see, I've got trainers still on. So I need to go and get my walking boots on shortly. Right, so you can see the old gas tanks there. They're not full up anymore, thank God. And uh, that's the, the second trap that I set up just down there. Right, I'm going to set up the last one. I'm going to decide where to put that now. Just while I was uh, setting the fourth trap up, lovely cinnabar. There he goes. Yep. There by those trees. Oh, he's on that tree over there. See if I can get a closer look. Hopefully, we'll trap a few tonight. He's just up there. Yes, there. Beautiful. All right, this is our uh, final and fourth trap, all set up. It's a, well, I call it the bodge job trap. It's just basically a big uh, clear plastic tub with a uh, lampshade upturned. Uh, I made an awful job of cutting out around the edge as you can see so I put this little bag thing round 
just to keep the uh, moths from escaping. I don't know if it works, but there's a few little holes there, so hopefully that'll be all right. Big tray is round the edge again, and I put it up against uh, one of the old sheds. Hopefully it'll light it up. It's an MV, so might get some moths settling on there later on. And this is at the uh, still the, set, uh, the south side of the farm in this little corner here and we've got plenty of vegetation as you can see I've been zoomed in all the time would you believe and now I've zoomed out and that's the hedgerow border in the farm and oh there's a moth line just past me there at the micro so yeah you can see that it's overlooking down there heavily vegetated and uh, yeah got all my cables set up not put bags on them tonight as you can see the there's a little bit of cloud about but mainly clear now which is a bit of a shame let's hope the temperature stays up hopefully well, let's just walk back around the corner I'm going to get my net and start doing a little bit of dusking it's nearly dark well I say the sun's still quite high but things are still flying about try and get the list up a little bit more some lovely uh, sallow trees here these weren't even here probably about six years ago they've just self-seeded if that's uh, goat willow or pussy willow I'm not sure there's a couple more over here yeah so we're all ready to go I'll show you down there that's the other trap you can probably just about to see it from here I'm gonna zoom in that's the actinic down there all the way down there, it's quite a distance there, it's about 70 metres of it I said and then you slip around like that and that's the blended bulb down there and that's back to the house up there and I've got another trap first one we set up on the north side so yeah, just got to wait for some moths now thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll uh, post another video early on in the morning, probably half four or five o'clock in the morning show you the contents of one of the traps at least morning everyone it's uh, Ben again uh, Friday morning 27th of May and uh, yeah it's about 6 in the morning I got tired as well I uh, got up about half 4 and to do the traps and uh, yeah it dropped like a stone last night the uh, temperature and it's typical now, we've got lots and lots of cloud coming, as you can see. We needed that last night, uh, so the catch was a little bit reduced. Uh, at the moment, 52 species, which is not too bad, but at this time of year, I'd expect probably just over 100 in this sort of site. And we've got a few moths anyway, I'll just show you a few what we've got. We've got a nice popular hawk moth there. Got. Nice fresh green carpet. There's lots of uh, treble lines here. There's quite a few though, I think it was over 30 last night. It's incredible. And uh, a million. Two of them, I don't know where the other one is. Somewhere. And what else have we got here? And we've got a flame shoulder. Just there. And lots of rustic shoulder knots. Seem to be quite common here as well. About 20 of them last night. Uh, angle shades. Three of them. What else have we got? Oh, there's the other melon there. And we've got a privet hawk as well. I had three uh, hawk moths last night, two poplars and one privet. There he is there. Or a she, I'm not entirely sure. 
Yeah, so it's quite a reduced catch. Uh, there's a few in the grass as well. There's a white ermine down there. And there's a lovely cinnabar. About six or seven of them last night. I'll have to look back at my records. Uh, we've got a light brocade as well, and the best moth of the night was this one. I'm not sure if anybody recognises it. When I saw it, I thought, yes, that's the first uh, record um, that I've recorded in Hertfordshire. It's a dog's tooth. It's only my second dog's tooth in ten years. I'm not sure what record it is for Hertfordshire. I'll have to check that out. It's not a very uh, common moth. Um, migrant and wanderer. Possibly it may be here, resident, I don't know, but it's, uh, yeah, well worth running the lights tonight. All four traps. And that's about it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.